Good Saturday afternoon, YouTubers. It is 12... Excuse me. It is 12.36 p.m. on Saturday before... On Saturday, 13th of April, 2013. And if you watched the previous um, video, I did explain. Um, well, I might as well tell you. We're, sorry, we're going back to. Uh, I'm going to finish reading uh, Matthew chapter 8 from the Amplified Bible. We left off on uh, verse 14, which was. And when Jesus went into Peter's house, he saw his mother-in-law lying ill with a fever. And on the um, King James Version, it says, And when Jesus was come into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother laid in sick of fever, of fever, which means it was Peter's mother-in-law, which I did put the explanation. Explanation. Get all the nonsense out. Mm. Yeah, um, you know that it was Peter's mother, and so sorry about the confusion. Um, so we will continue with verse 15. He touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she got up and began waiting on her. That's amazing, isn't it? Just a little And you heal instantly. 16. When evening came, they brought to him many who were under the powers of demons possessed. And he drove out the spirits with a word, just one word, and restored to health all who were sick. 17. And thus he fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet, prophet Isaiah. He himself took in order to carry away our weaknesses and infirmities and bore away our diseases. 18. Now Jesus, when he saw the great when he saw the great throngs around him, gave orders to cross to the other side. Of the Lord. 19. And a scribe came up and said to him, Master, I will accompany you wherever you go. 20. And Jesus replied to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have lodging places, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. 21. Another of the disciples said to him, Lord, let me First, go and bury, carry for till death, my father, bury. 22. But Jesus said to him, Follow me, and leave the dead in sin to bury their own dead. 23. And after he got into the boat, his disciples followed him. Twenty-four. And suddenly, behold, there arose a violent storm on the sea, so that the boat was being covered up by the waves. But he was sleeping. Twenty-five. And they went and awakened him, saying, Lord, rescue and preserve us. We are perishing. You know, they didn't pray or nothing to God. They immediately went to Jesus and said, Rescue us. And we're going to perish the ways they're going to take us away. 26. And he said to them, Why are you timid and afraid? Oh, you of little faith. Like Jesus was going to let the waves take them off the boat. He wouldn't have allowed all that. Sleeping or not, he knew what was going on. Ye of little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the seas. And there was a great and wonderful calm. A perfect peaceableness. I like that. Perfect peaceableness. Peaceableness. That's amazing. Peaceableness. Could you imagine peaceableness? No. Because 
you're never going to have peacefulness until you're at the level of life. That's when we'll have peacefulness. Not down here. Not down here with the sons of men and the sons of flesh. 27. And the men were stunned with bewildered wonder and marveled, saying, What kind of man is this? that even the winds and the sea obey him. They still wonder what type of man he was, that the winds and the sea obeyed him. 28. And when he arrived at the other side in the country of the Gadarians, Gadar two men under the control of demons went to meet him, coming out of the tombs so fierce and savage that no one was able to pass that way. They were in the tombs, and they were so mean, you know, so violent, and just savage, primitive, cavemen like, that no one was able to pass that way. They couldn't get, get past there. 29. And behold, they shrieked and screamed. They, you know, they were screaming and they're shrieking, you know, like a baby probably a shriek, a loud shriek. What have you to do with us, Jesus, Son of God? Do you know who he was? The demons instantly knew who he was. Have you come to torment us before the appointed time? The appointed time is talking about the second coming. Thirty. Now at some distance there was a drove of many hogs. Thirty. Now at some distance from there a drove of many hogs was grazing. Sorry. Thirty-one. And the demons begged him, If you drive us out, send us into the drove of hogs. Thirty-two. And he said to them, Be gone. So they came out and went into the hogs, and behold, the whole drove rushed toward the steep bank into the sea and died in the water. And you know that, you know, angels can't die in it, so they they went into the, um, the pits where they will stay until they are released. Thirty-three. The herdsmen fled and went into the town and reported everything, including what had happened to the men under the power of the demons. Thirty-four. And behold, the men, the whole. Thirty-four. And behold, the whole town went out to meet Jesus, and as soon as they saw him, they begged him to depart from their lo locality. They begged him to depart from their locality. Huh. They begged him to depart from their locality. Because hmm. they didn't want him there. Alright, my brothers and sisters, that concludes Matthew chapter 8. And we'll be back with chapter 9. I don't know if it'll be today, tonight, tomorrow. Whenever God tells me, hey, read chapter 9. Yeah. Alright, my brothers and sisters, peace be in you. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. You know, that's why that box is down there. You know, start a fellowship. That's what, and then, you know, that's what we're supposed to do, a fellowship. That's why, you know, there's a subscribe button so people can talk and express their feelings and ask questions and stuff like that. You know, feel free to express yourself, your honest opinion. And as long as you don't say GD or drop the F bomb, you're fine. Those are the only two words that I don't I don't listen to. I will not put up with.
If you say GG, you're instantly kicked. You drop that F bomb, you will be warned once, and then you'll be booted. I will not put up with that in my channel. Sorry. Alright, my brother sends us to a piece of being. Let me have fun, like, come on. I won't bite your head off. I love you guys. Peace be in you. God bless.